Inventory management is one of the most important parts of any survival game. So why is Minecraft so bad at it? This is how many items were in the game 13 years ago. And this is how many items are in the game today. And the inventories remain exactly the same. It's not fair. Luckily, Minecraft's greatest mod pack, Bolt Hunters, actually attempts to fix this issue. A mod pack find you with the many items. I will lead you through three major steps that Vault Hunters has taken to fix these issues. First is the basic feature that sets the terms for what Vault Hunters is doing, then comes the upgrades that tackle some of the big issues bit by bit, and then there's a huge item that allows Minecraft to have things like 10 different types of wood without having them clog your inventory. You're going to want to stick around to see what a difference all these steps make. Starting off with pouches and backpacks. Bolt Hunters has things ranging from the smallest of little pouches to these massive backpacks and they sort of act like improved shulker boxes where you don't need to place them down to access their inventory and that may not seem all that special but it's when they bring in the next step that these get really really great. Because step two is upgrades for the pouches. Now these upgrades range from things like a pickup upgrade where when you apply it and you tell the backpack that you want it to pick up this specific type of item whenever you pick it up it'll go straight into the backpack then there's the feeding upgrade and this when applied to a pouch will inject any food in the pouch automatically into your bloodstream meaning that you don't actually need to have food in your hotbar then there's the stack upgrade and this allows items to stack up past their max size of 64 in the pouch. Or if you like, you've got the deposit upgrade. And this, when applied, means that you can automatically deposit anything into the in the pouch straight into the inventory of whatever you click on. Whilst not all of these updates may fit perfectly into the vanilla game, I definitely think at least the pickup upgrade has a spot in vanilla. Because let's say you're mining, you can set it so that any valuables you pick up automatically go into your pouch. Now, before I show you the third step, I'm going to run a quick vault, which for those not in the know, is kind of like a mining trip on steroids to show you guys just how much of a difference this last step will make. a scavenger you love to see it uh let's get our our little scavenger pouch which again it shows the use of the pouches onto the hot bar and let's uh yeah let's 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 see what happens eh <laughs> And so as you can tell by that vault that I ran and totally didn't fail, uh, all of my important items have gone into my backpacks. So that's why these are so good. But however, my inventory still gets incredibly clogged, which is what this third item aims to solve. Now to get this item in Vault Hunters, I'm going to need to consume a few knowledge stars and buy a few. I mean 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14. And we are going to unlock... Junk management, because that I the item is actually locked behind junk management. And to craft it, first up, 
we want to craft a junk identifier and this uh, look well we'll read off the just enough items when this charm is in your inventory it will automatically void any item whitelisted set inside the vault controller on pickup in a vault so there you go that's a bit of a hint as to what it does but i'll show you guys what it does once i've got this stuff crafted up so one junk identifier one junk controller which is well, very expensive isn't it so we need to make that and then we need an echo pog which we need a perfect echo for and we need a bunch of pogs uh, that'll be enough and okay echo pog and then we need three magic silk blocks and then you've got the junk controller so we can read the, the the thing on here the junk controller allows you to configure a whitelist inside the gui that will void whitelisted items that the player collects inside vaults the junk controller can be upgraded with vault junk upgrades requiring the previously tier upgrade to be installed first before applying further ones, this allows for much better inventory management and will not cause durability damage on Magna. Yeah, you don't need to worry about that. That's not a vanilla thing. So, uh, we chuck down the vault, uh, the junk thing in my bob somewhere that it makes sense to chuck down. Uh, let's put it right there. And this just needs to hang out in our inventory. And we can actually put up to nine items in here that whenever we pick them up will just disappear. So. You know, I've, I've collected a bunch of items over here that we can make disappear, like, you know, acacia logs, dirty sand, rails, stuff that I don't really need. So we can chuck those in, but we've got a lot more than nine in there, and we're going to get a lot more over time, which is why we need the upgrades. So we can make the tier one upgrade easy enough. And we can chuck it on there, and now we're up to 27 slots, but we're not going to stop there. We're going to make the tier two upgrade, which we need three tier one which we need three tier one upgrades for and a, another echo pog it's expensive isn't it and we can make it into a tier two one which when we chuck that on brings us up to 162 slots and that should be good enough for now so what we want to do is we want to grab out all of these items and we want to just chuck them all into here one by one and that means that all of these items when we pick them up while we're running around so you know in vanilla you could do cobblestone and gravel and you know things that you just build up a lot of that you don't really need over time and then we're going to run another vault and see just how big of a difference this actually makes towards inventory management and by extension just quality of life i've got the crystal let's see how much of a difference this makes ow Well, um, that didn't necessarily go ideal, but, uh, it, <laughs> it works for our purposes. Uh, let me just get my things back. Uh, uh ooh, okay, uh, okay, uh, uh, then I'll show you guys what a difference it made. I promise. <laughs> Alright, so now I've gone ahead and bought my stuff back. You can see how my inventory is a lot less clogged. I still do have a few things, and I got some things in my pouch, again, showing the use of the pouch. But 
what I can do with this is I can just chuck it into the junk manager and that way I'll never have to pick it up again. So that is how this uh, mod pack solves Minecraft's inventory issue even though it has hundreds and hundreds of more items. So let me know what you guys thought of that down in the comments below. If you did enjoy, do be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.